Hello everyone, Sigs here, and welcome back to Fire Emblem Path of Radiance for the Nintendo GameCube. Uh, we're picking up where we left off last time, starting with Chapter 12 now. So, uh, let's get into it. Looks like we have a cutscene here to start. I will leave the dialogue on screen for anyone who would like to read it, and feel free to skip ahead if you do not. Alrighty, chapter 12, here we go. Starting off with some dialogue, same deal. Leave it on screen if you want to read it. I'm not going to read it out loud, but read it if you'd like. Skip ahead if you don't want to. Alrighty, here's how we did in the last chapter. Uh, got a decent amount of bonus experience from that. Uh, I did learn the bonus experience, for the most part, it's based on the number of turns that you take in the mission. So there's a set number of turns, and for every turn you go over, you lose a little bit of bonus experience. So there is something to be said for finishing missions quickly. Not sure that it says in-game what the uh, turn limit is, but I do have a chart pulled up, so we'll be looking at that for this next mission here. Um, but it looks like we did pretty good in this last one. We fought excellently, according to Soren. So that's good, and I think this should take us, yep, to the pre-mission setup. So let's get all this out of the way. Okay, so we'll start with our info conversations. One star, just character development conversations. You don't really get anything tangible out of them. And then three star conversations, we will get an item or a character from. So I'm just going to run through these one star character conversations, uh, get a little more information about the characters. Feel free to read them if you want. Feel free to skip them if you don't. All 
Alright, that's the first one. I'm gonna run through the other two here. funny. I, uh, I like that guy. Um, Alright, so we're going to do the three-star conversation now. We should get something from this uh, character or an item. So let's see. Alright, so I believe this is a recruitable character, so we are going to aid him, which I believe causes him to join. Alright, so that takes care of those for this chapter. Let's take a quick look at the support conversations. Uh, this is going to be to rank up support level for any of these characters, meaning they will uh, get a boost to their stats if they stand near one of their uh, support allies in a mission. Uh, I don't think these are any that I wanted, want to do. Uh, I want to do Ike with Soren up to rank 3, I think is the plan, and then he's only going to have one left over, so I'm not sure if I just do Oscar up to B rank, or if I just get a second person to C rank, but either way, I'm not going to worry about it right now. Um, so let's look at the bonus XP that we have. Uh, we have 340. Uh, I'm not sure how much of this I want to save for later, for if I recruit new units. I think what I'm going to do... If somebody's close to a level up like this, I'll definitely just do this. Start them off one level higher for the next chapter, which could help out within the first few turns before they would level up normally. Uh, Kieran I do plan to use. He is... already level 12, so I'm not going to use it on him. Folk's kind of hard to level up on his own. Marsha, I definitely want to level up as much as possible. She's already 14. Boyd is totally fine. Oscar just... Uh, I'm praying investing in him will pay off, so... Hopefully he can level up on his own. I'll just do this. Get a quick level here. I don't know if this is really the most efficient way to spend this experience, but... Hey, it's four points, gives me an extra level to start with. Could be the difference between getting a kill or not on the first turn, so that's what we'll do. And there's our new thief, uh, Soothe, that we just recruited. I am not really 
planning on using him. Uh, I have another Thief Volk who I do plan to use, so... Uh, I don't want to spend all of this XP. I want to save some for later, but I feel like I should use a little more now. So you know what, we'll do a level on Mist, because she is behind from joining late. And with investment, when she promotes, she gets a, a horse, which makes her very mobile, able to run in and heal and run out, which is amazing for a priest who's usually pretty squishy. Um, you know what? I'm just going to go with this. Kind of dumping a lot of XP here, but get another level up on Marsha, because she is quite weak at the moment, but if she promotes, she will be very, very strong, so... We'll dump a good chunk into her, and then... I mean, Volk's gonna be hard to level up on his own, and I do plan on using him. But I don't want to dump that much XP. I've changed my mind, we'll just do Kira. This is only 15 points for a level for him. Hoping for like a strength roll or something. Yep. So that'll make him do more damage, more likely to get a kill and level up on his own. And I think we will just save the rest for now. Another level on this for the hell of it. I'll save it for now. If I end up with a ton at the end of the, uh, this next level, I'll just use it in the next chapter. So, um, and I have all these skills. I haven't really bothered messing around with them yet. I only have one extra one that I can assign, so I'm not concerned with that. And lastly, just real quick, I want to make sure that everybody's kitted out, so Ike should be fine. I don't really want to use Ike right now. He uh, doesn't promote until chapter 17, no matter what level he is, so I want to get him to level 20 by chapter 17, but I don't want him to get there too soon, because any XP beyond that uh, will just be wasted, because he cannot level up. Uh, let's grab an Iron Sword here for Zahark. It's... I was going to say it's cheap. It's actually one of the more expensive weapons. Is that an Iron Blade? Is that different? That's different than an Iron Sword, actually. Is there an Iron Sword? There's not even an Iron Sword. It's just this Iron Blade. Uh, whatever. I can give it to somebody else if anything else. But, uh... Uh, Leith is fine. Kieran has his axes. He's fine. I will give this Lance. I don't think Marsha's going to make much use of it until she levels up. And her inventory is pretty much already full, so I'll just give that to Oscar. Maybe that'll help him level up. Uh, Nephany is good. She'll get some weapon proficiency and be able to use that Steel Lance soon. Reese is fine. Marsh is fine. Mist is fine. Volk, I think all he can use is that knife, and uh, I don't really know how to get more, so... It's a blade, a knife, or a sword, I don't really know what the difference is, but... He's gonna have to just work with that for now. Oscar's good. Boyd is good. Mia, I don't plan on using her, she's fine. No, I'll just grab Sword on each home, this is getting a little low. I want to level Thunder with him. I think that's the kind of the strongest magic is with L Thunder later in the game from what I've heard, but I don't know if that's true, but that's just what we're doing for now. He should probably just take this L Thunder too, but should be fine for now, so. Alright, everybody looks good. I'll just quickly make sure everybody has a vulnerary. Just in case. I have this Draco shield too. This will give a defense rank up to a unit, and what I'm gonna do with it is give it to... It kind of makes sense on like a cleric because they're so squishy, but the goal is for them to not really get hit anyway. I want it on somebody who's going to be like out in front a lot and just make them take less damage. It would be good on a mage too for the same reason because they're pretty squishy, but again, ideally they're just not taking hits. So I think I'm just going to give it to Marsha. I'm just going to make her an absolute beast if possible. Uh, she gets she's super high mobility so she can fly anywhere on the map and, and defeat a bunch of enemies and rescue people, do whatever she needs to do. So let's give her a little more defense. Nice. Good 20% increase there. Um, and that should be that. So let's go ahead and save. Um, I don't think we need to go back for any reason. So let's save over our last chapter. Save. 
And with all that out of the way, let us start the mission. So, a little more dialogue. You know the deal. Gonna let it run on screen if you want to read it. Skip ahead if not. So let's see what we're dealing with here. Uh, here is the map. I think we are locked to this ship. I do have a little guide kind of pulled up just to make sure I don't miss anything that's missable. So... Hmm. All right. So one thing, uh, Jill, that uh, Wyvern Knight from the last mission is recruitable in this chapter. So I definitely want to make sure to get her. And then a lot of these uh, crows, yeah, can drop items. That's a really nice item right there. So there's going to be more crows that spawn in. Wow, a lot of nice items. Uh, more crows that spawn in that have items as well. So I actually want to kind of make this mission last as long as possible for all of them to come in. And then the bonus experience is up to... Turn 9, we will get 200 experience, and we will lose 20 per turn over. And crows will spawn in up until turn 13, so I'm not actually sure if it's worth ending at turn 9 for the bonus experience, or going to turn 13 for the bonus items, potentially. But we'll see how we feel when that moment arrives. And in the meantime, we're going to choose our units. So, okay, what do we got here? Um, let me take the people I absolutely want to take. So, definitely Boyd is one of our strongest units. My promote soon, Oscar, I want to invest in him. Soren as well. Titania is a great unit. Uh, now that everybody's getting caught up to her a little bit, I'm starting to not worry about her stealing experience from other people, but I think we can get away without her on this mission, hopefully. Um, Soothe, I don't care about leveling up, because I have Volk, who is going to be my main thief for any mission that needs a thief. Um, Zahark, not as good as other units, I don't think, so I will only worry about leveling him up if there's other people that are worse than him, which it doesn't look like there are. Um... All right, just thinking out loud here. Not sure that I really need two healers as well, so I definitely want to invest more into Mist than Reese, because she ends up being a better healer because of the horse. I think I'm going to take Volk, see if I can level him up a little bit. And I'm not sure how strong these crows are if I'm gonna really need two healers. So it's either Zahark or Reese. I think Leith could be very good with some investment too, but she's so far behind at this point. I'm not sure if I really care to try to bring her up to speed at the moment, so... Let's take Reese. We'll just keep leveling him up. And then everybody else here... Uh, these are all people that I just want to kind of level up, get them up to speed, and then some of my stronger units as well. Just to make sure I don't run into trouble. And everybody's position. Not sure how much this matters outside of getting the squishy weak units out of harm's way at the start here. So 
And that would be Mist and Reese and Soren. Soren come down here because he can fight pretty well if those three come up from the bottom. Potentially people who are going to take the first hit. Kieran. Marsh is still a little weak defensively. I cannot move. Uh, let's do Nephany over Volk. She's a little tankier. And then if they opt to attack Void or Ike, they're just going to get destroyed. So hopefully that doesn't happen because I'd rather kill them with somebody else. But all right, that should be good. So I'll do another save here. Just in case I fail right at the start, I can just quickly restart from this point. And let's fight. So let's see how this goes. My turn first. Um, I don't even really know what I want to do. I don't have anything to do here. Uh, let's just do that for the hell of it because we can have Mist use her ward staff and get some experience for her for the turn. Just keep her leveling up. Alright, not bad. And she got a proficiency out of it, so that's awesome. Already up to rank G. He's just going to put him there to make sure he's safe. And I'm just going to tuck everybody in a little bit. Try to move Ike away so that they do not attack him because I don't want Ike getting any XP. And alright, it's basically on them now to move in. And I'll see what they do from there. Alright, so he is going for Boyd for some reason. Can you not kill him, Boyd, so I can get the kill with somebody else? That would be great. Okay, cool. That's good. Oh, good chunk of XP, too. These birds do seem kind of strong, so I gotta be careful here, especially when they all surround me. Um, alright. Marsha is my priority to level up. She cannot do it on her own. Let's see if there's anybody else who can't quite do it on their own. They could share the XP. Oof. Five, that brings him to nine. Marsha does not do nine. Oh, she does do nine. All right, so do this. We'll get a, a little bit of XP for Nephany pending the miss here. Of course. Ugh, that's a bummer. So let me reconsider. Maybe Volk. Can Volk do a little bit of damage? He can do five. We'll take nine. Which is kind of a lot. If he ends up getting surrounded, I could be in trouble, but... That's going to be a good hit for a little bit of XP. Which will allow us to move Marsha in for the kill once I get Oscar out of the way. Let's put Oscar up here and kind of use him as bait. He is pretty tanky. That will allow us to not get Marsha there, because I didn't think that through. Um... I don't want them to choose to go for Boyd, but we'll see what they do. Uh, so do the Iron Axe, save the charges on the Pole Axe. That frees up Marsha to come down and get the kill here. These things give a lot of experience, so definitely want to try to get the experience onto the units who need it uh, to that end. Kieran, strange that I can't hit, I guess because he's down below, technically, or something. Because there's a wall in the way, I don't know. It's one square away, you'd think I'd be able to hit him, but... Uh, Alright, he's doing nothing there. I need to be real careful with my healers, as well as Soren, most likely. So these three are coming up. This guy here is the issue. Who, who could reach Mist and Reese? So, um, let's see what Soren does. Soren does not reach, so that's a bit of a problem. Ike does not reach. Uh, Kieran cannot kill this guy. I may need to just pick up the healers, just rescue them, and. I cannot rescue. Kieran can certainly rescue one of them. I think Reese can eat one hit at least. So we'll just pick Mist up, make sure she's safe. 
don't know that I can prevent Reese from being hit this turn. Uh, maybe I could put Ike here. And then Ike will just kind of serve as bait. Let me get Soren. If he goes here, is that square going to be safe? No. So Soren is kind of in danger of getting multiple hits. Unless I, if I put him up here. Alright, so the ball is in the enemy's court here. He's going to go for Reese. Yep. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he can eat one hit. 25 damage seems like it would be a lot. Wow, 15. That's... Oh my god. Oh boy, he is weak. Alright, well, that's why we made that save right before um, the battle started. Hmm. Alright, well, lesson learned. Now, as far as I know, there's no way to just restart from here. I think I have to just turn the GameCube off and back on again, so... Let me just see if there's a, uh... All right, it says hold start B and X to restart your game. Let's see what happens. Okay, that reset my game. So, back to the start. Just pretend none of that happened. We will restart from this save, which is right at the start of the battle. After we've already moved our units and all that kind of stuff. So, um, the question is, do we even bother taking Reese at this point now? If he's going to just be a liability like that. Let me actually do... I need somebody who's a little bit stronger, so we won't worry about Volk right now. Uh, keep investing in Nephany. Give me Titania. Yeah. So, let's do that, and let's start again. So, again, first player phase... Not much going on here. Gonna let the enemy come to us. Gonna do ward with uh, mist here. Get her some XP. And I'm just gonna right away pick up Reese. I can drop him and have him heal later if needed. And I have Marsha. Uh... Yeah. No. She's safe there. She won't get hit this turn, so I can get another ward cast off and then pick her up. So that's what I'll do. I'll leave Marsha there. She's not going to get hit. Uh, Nephni can probably... I don't, I don't know, man. Soren, a little squishy. Ike. Guy's probably going to go for Boyd again. Oscar, Nephni, I'll move her in. And then Titania is just going to kind of go there to block off Soren. All right. They come, yep, going for Boyd again. I left the pole axe on on purpose because I wasn't sure if the uh, iron axe would, would get a kill or not. All right, and we will try to play this similarly to how we did last time. So Nephany right here with the Joblin right here. Maybe she won't miss this time. Yep, she will, so kind of a waste of a turn. And we used Volk last time. We don't have him now. So let's see about Oscar with the Iron Lance. That'll be fine. I'll take six. Need to be a little careful having my healers uh, picked up here. Just trying to get to the point where there's less crows on the map. And I can uh, put my healers back down, have them heal, and then surround them so that they won't get hit. So we'll just do a ward cast for XP for the turn. Could have moved and healed Oscar, but I get more XP from a ward, and Oscar's going to be fine for now. So, uh, And then let's do Marsha. Get her the experience here. Yep. And 
Alright. Good chunk of XP. Uh, leave her there. Now, this is where I'm hoping... Uh, I'm stupid and I did not adjust accordingly, so... It's not gonna be enough. These guys are all gonna come in at once and kind of wreak some havoc if they all target the same unit, so... You know, I may even have to restart this chapter again. I may end up failing here. I might need to just take my strongest units, but... Uh, for now, we'll have Titania pick up Mist, have her come down here, and make... We're gonna make a little wall... Like this around Soren so that he's safe. We will do Iron Axe on Boyd now, and that'll be turn. This guy's gonna go for Nephany. She should be fine. Yep. We'll need to heal her, though. Oh, no. She got hit twice. Oh, man. This may not be the level to try to level up my weak units. I'm going for Titania. She should be totally fine. What was that? Oh, that was her counter ability, maybe? Alright, that one's getting low. I can pick him off with somebody. Yep, okay. Oh, wow, interesting that they choose to go for Titania. Man, yeah, these guys hurt. This is, uh... Harder than I thought it would be. Wow, and they hit twice. That's I don't think Titania has ever been this low since the start of the game. And my healers are both picked up. So this is uh I don't have anyone to heal with. So not the best situation. But here's Jill. She's gonna come up and talk to Ike on her own. Which will recruit her, which will be very handy. Um, alright, Kieran gonna do... Damn, he's gonna take 14, though. That's not good. He'll do 10. Nephany this turn, I think, just the vulneraries herself. Just might need to move her, so I'll wait to do that. Soren. Damn, not enough. Still not enough. Um... Let's have Soren get this guy low. Somebody else is going to finish him off. Uh, Oscar would be good if he could, which, ugh, 66% chance, so that's pending a miss. Kieran with the hand axe, 50% is even worse. Um, let's just give this a shot with Oscar. Alright, good. That works out. It's one bird down, don't have to worry about it doing any more damage, and very good XP for Oscar. We get a coin, which I think is just like a worthless item as far as I know. Uh, now, as far as taking out the rest of these, which are, you know, two of them are full health, let's see. So, Marsha wants to get the killing blow. She does eight, so if I could somehow do seven damage to this guy... 12 here. Let's see what Boyd does. 12, 14, 15. I'm sure that we can mop up with Ike at that point. Damn, Ike is strong. Yeah, so we'll do Ike first, and then Boyd, let the XP go to Boyd, and then here we will do Titania. Oh no, it's only a 45% chance to hit. So... 70% chance to do 12. I might have to let Titania get the kill on this one, have Marsha weaken with Javelin. 67. Oh, if this misses, I'm in big trouble. House of Nephany there is just in trouble. I think Kieran as well, so... Kieran... Only a 50. It's got kind of less than a half percent chance to hit. Uh, God, can Nephany even live with a Vulnerary? Quite possibly not. I might need someone to 
pick her up. But if I can kill two of these, I have one bird to worry about, and that should be fine. But if we miss... If we miss, we're in a lot of trouble. Oh god, just don't miss, please. Fuck. Uh, well, that makes this really tricky now. Because... Titania... Oh. Okay, it's only a 45% chance to hit, though. This one's only 70, and it's not enough damage. So any combination here where I can take out two of these, that's what I have to do. Damn, one damage short on that. Not good enough. Not good enough. Uh, this one's a, it's a full health. What does Ike do? Isn't Ike, can I just mess this guy up? Uh, yeah, I could just do that. That's why I have this uh, Lagoo Slayer. I think I just do that to make sure I live the turn. This one seems a little stronger with 30 HP. So... Nephany, run away. Use a vulnerary. I don't want to leave Soren open. Soren might just get one shot by one of these things. Uh... Goodness. Kieran doesn't really help me. Actually, he does. So we'll do Ike, we'll do Slayer. Oh, he doesn't kill that one. Okay. So this one's the strongest, I think. I should be fine, though. So we'll do Lagoo Slayer here. Boom, boom. Ike will eat a hit. That's fine. chunk of XP, but we have basically five more levels where we want Ike to not gain more than two levels, so I mean, I don't really want him getting the XP. Uh, who is this? Nephany? She's got to be able to eat hits from that guy. What did he do last time? That's who hit her last time, right? And it did, uh, if she was at seven, then it did 16, so that should leave her with one health, if that's right. And then the play would be to put Kieran here to protect Soren after we get the kill on this one. Marcia should be fine. So we'll do... What did we say was going to work? God, 14. That's kind of scary. But if Boyd can hit into 13, leave him at 2. There's a 78% chance. 78, 88. So that'll leave him at four, and then we just need to type. Ooh, okay, sorry. I thought I almost auto attacked, and then uh, it's a seventy percent chance. Forty-five, forty-five. All right. So like, this is how we're gonna do it. And if we get a miss anywhere along the way, I think we fail like, the chapter. Cause somebody's gonna die. So. All right. This is our first hit. That's a good job, boy. Nice dodge. Then, Titania, Iron Lance, I'm just going to close my eyes. Okay, good. So that missed, I would be screwed. Um, Alright, level up from Titania, that's cool. Seraph robe that's huge. Definitely want to give that to somebody. It's a uh, HP increase, I believe. Yep, so very useful. And the last move here is to put Kieran down to protect Soren. And then this guy's gonna attack whoever he wants. Nephany should live with one HP if this was the one that attacked her last turn. Kieran should live. Ike should live, Boyd should live, Titania should live. Soren's the only one I'm worried about. I don't know, this guy can't reach Marcia, Marcia so she'll be fine. That guy can't get to me this turn, so. All right, hopefully we can make it through this turn. If we can, we can maybe start dropping our healers and topping everybody else off. So, oh God, here comes more birds. All right, Nephany. Dodge or something. Alright. Yeah, so. Alright. 
did calculate that right. It's gonna leave her with one health, which is terrifying, but anyway, it's enough. She got a nice little crit there, so that helps. This guy coming for Jill. Jill, we're gonna come straight to Ike. As soon as I can recruit her, that would be nice. All right, so now we got some stuff to do here. So, I believe the turn that I dropped the healer, I cannot heal with them. So, I'm just gonna drop them out of attack range, get ready to heal with them, like, next turn, basically. Um, I need this guy to be gone, though. And I think I have several ways that I could do that, so I'll just do... Here into the back, because I want to check. Yeah, the turn that I dropped them, I cannot heal with them, so... I want them out of the way so I can at least do, like, one turn of healing and then pick them back up if needed while these other guys are far enough away. And then i got to figure out how I'm going to get rid of this guy. So, again, if Marsha could get the kill, that would be the best-case scenario. Because I want her to level up the most. I'm just going to do eight damage... Seven, five. So if I can get him to 8 HP, if I can do 10 damage to him somehow, that would be great. Nephany, I'm just gonna move her out of the way. I sh should probably vulnerate with her, but I'm not. Because as long as I kill this guy in the back, then she won't die this turn. I'd rather get the healing experience on a priest or a cleric. Not that there's not many other targets to heal, but I'm going to kind of just go in here. I'm going to prepare for this strategy like this, and now I have to, have to, have to take this guy out back here. So, Oscar, can you do 10 damage? You can do 8, you can do 9, you can do 12 at a 70% chance to hit and take 14 with a 35% crit chance. So, what about you, Soren? I'm not going to attack from this position, but Wow, that guy would leave him with one HP. Um, but that's enough, so we'll just kind of move Oscar. He just has to get it a little bit out of the way. We'll put him there. Soren, free hit with thunder, 11 damage. Do not miss, please. All right. And that will allow me to move in for the kill with Marsha. So, Marsha, go right ahead. Iron Lance, 84% chance. If I miss, I will need to come up with another plan, so let's get her in the back instead, just in case. Go right ahead, Marsha. Nice, it's a lot of XP, it's really good. I want her to promote soon, so that's good. Uh, Ike, you can stay. Let's get you close so that you can talk this turn. We'll get Jill. I think we're going to have to send Jill and Marsha down to fight the boss. I don't know that he'll, he'll probably come up eventually, but the mission doesn't end until I defeat all the enemies on screen, so... I will have to get him somehow. Uh, Boyd, you just stay right there. Nobody's going to get attacked this turn. This Jill should come up and talk to Ike. Awesome. have Jill now. She's a Wyvern Rider. Steel Lance. Takes half damage from Laguz, so she's very useful on this mission. I could give that Laguz guard to somebody else, uh, but for now she will keep it. So the plan here is to heal up first the people who need it. Kieran is not one of those people. Nephany is, and Titania is. I actually kind of wish their positions were swapped because I think Reese heals for more, but and he has the men's staff. Yeah, because so Mist is not going to full heal. So I'll actually move them around. Alright, so Mist will go here. Usually I don't mind not topping somebody up because it just gives me another turn to get a heal off, to get another chunk of XP. 
but uh, at this rate I want to finish the mission quickly for bonus experience and I'm also going to have to pick these healers back up soon I think so uh, that does not full heal anyway with mist so it doesn't really matter but I'd rather get Titania to full health and use her as something of a tank to take some hits down here if needed that's all the healing I can do for the turn outside of vulnerabilities so let's get Marsha ready down here for this one and let's see what Jill does she does. She'd take 10 and then she'd take 10 again next turn. She would do 12, 24. So I'm gonna let this guy. Is that what I'm gonna do? Am I gonna let that guy come up and hit her? Yeah, let's do that. So he should choose to tar target Jill. Oh god, here comes Marvel. So Jill's going to take 10, potentially, and do 12 back. Oh, is that... Okay, that's fine. Oh, shoot. Now the boss is coming. We've got more crows coming in. So I need to get everyone topped up and then, like, pick them up so that they're not in danger. So who really needs a heal? I'm Kieran. Uh, let's see Soren. What? It's not gonna be enough, but he does 12. Kieran can only hit once. Um, let's Marsha come in here and get this kill. She does nine. She only takes four, which is nice. Jill seems okay. That one cannot get to me next turn. That one cannot get to me next turn. So it's just this one at the top I have to worry about if I use Jill to weaken. Don't crit. Don't crit. Oh, I missed. Oh, shit. Now I'm nervous. should still be all right. So what I'm gonna do is Jill's gonna get the heal this turn. because She's really mobile and I'm gonna use her to get kills later on. Uh, Marsha only takes four. That's, that's not bad. Looks like job one does eight damage and I don't get hit all at 74%, but I've been missing so much I don't even trust it. So we'll go with this for 94% chance to hit. Nice dodge, Marsha. All right, so I'm hoping that this crow chooses to attack Marsha and she can get the kill next turn. Now we have to level 16 strength point. That is awesome. Uh, and I just need to, so let's put her like here and see if the crow comes and attacks her. I need to be careful that this crow doesn't just choose to attack somebody else though. So yeah, I'm gonna do mist, heal, chill. can get all the way up to Reese, so that's good. So I got one more heal to do with Reese. I'm worried about Soren too. Just out of curiosity, can Oscar pick Soren up? He can. Um, Boyd should be fine. Ike should be fine. I'm gonna like, uh, I have a feeling that. Yeah, let's put him like. This isn't gonna matter once I move these other units, but. They just, they seem to like to attack Ike because he's the main character, so that this bird may opt to attack him over Marsha, but we'll see. Uh, and then I want Reese to actually come and heal... Oh god, but Nephany too. I just don't know how much damage this one's gonna do. It's only level 3, so it sh should be less than that other one was doing, but... Uh, that's what we'll do. So Reese, get your heal for the turn, top up Oscar. Get your XP, and make it so that Oscar is nice and safe. Oscar will rescue you. Oscar will rescue Greece. And then stay... Who's this? Oh, that's Ike. I probably could have... Let's do this. Yes. And then... 
Titania wants to pick up. Alright, Kieran's gonna pick up. Mist. I mean, it doesn't matter, but Kieran's gonna pick up. Nephany. I'm just worried about her. I, she could probably eat a hit and get some XP and do some damage, but I'm just worried about it. Uh, and if I do it this way, what I can do is have Titania get Reese, who cannot, or get missed, who cannot eat hits we learned the hard way. And then what that lets me do is put Soren right here, where he cannot get hit. He's safe. Everybody's safe. Everybody's full health. Worst case scenario, I have to take two hits on... God, and Jill should be fine. Oscar can probably take two hits. Boyd can probably take two hits. I can probably take two hits. All right, so we're good. The issue's gonna be getting everybody healthy for the boss and the other one that comes up next turn, but we should be good for this turn. Going for Kieran, I believe. Yep, that's fine. Pretty good damage from Kieran. Hitting twice would have been real nice. Um, he did take quite a bit too, unfortunately, but that's all right. Uh, this guy going for Oscar. Forgot I had the killer lights on. Gonna be a waste of a charge here, but if he gets the kill, which he does, that's fine. I'm still trying to get Oscar promoted, which should make him a little bit more viable than he is currently. So there's a level up. Level 15, strength point, awesome. secret book. I wonder what the secret is. The secret is that it gives you more skill, which I don't even know what it does. Uh, oh, hit percentage of skill, so that's good. Why do I have these minuses? Because we're at C or something? I don't know, but anyway. Alright, so... I'm not going to be able to drop... Well, maybe I can drop the healers in the back and get a, like, a quick heal and then pick them back up next turn like I just did. All that is predicated on me killing this guy right now. Oscar is probably fine. I think all these guys are fine. This boss, my truck, is the problem. And I want, like, everybody available to just swoop in and finish him off if... Somebody is low and unable to escape. So, Marsha cannot attack that guy up there. Jill, what can you do? Jill cannot get that guy. Um, none of these guys can move. If I'm not... So I have to kill this guy. Who is she carrying? She's carrying... We'll never know. Does not tell me who she's carrying. I don't quite remember who I picked up who with. Uh, which one's holding Nephany? Does it really not tell you? Alright, well, I can drop. It was just last turn. I literally can't remember which one was holding Nephany. I don't want to drop Nephany, because it's like a waste of a turn, but I could drop a healer right here. Alright, that's Reese. He's safe on this square. And then I can heal with him next turn and pick him up next turn, so that's good. And then, if I knew who had Nephany, I would just attack with that unit and then drop Mist and do the same thing up here. I'm just stupid and don't remember who picked up who. So let's see if this forces our hand. That's only 57. 77% chance for 11. Double hit 5. This should be good. Let's do this. Assuming I don't miss. Then he will get low, but that's okay because I should be able to heal him next turn. Assuming he is the one who picked up Nephany, which I think he is. And also assuming that Jill can get this kill. If Jill cannot, then I will need to use Titania. Otherwise, Reese is in danger, so come on, Jill, don't let me down. This is a crit. Uh, I don't know what her attack animation is versus, versus a crit animation. 
Alright, that takes care of that. Good XP for Jill. And then move her down because I'll probably use her to fight. And then Titania, go ahead and drop Mist. Yes, okay. So that works out. Nephany's and, and Kieran, that's good. Mist can heal only get picked back up next turn. Reese can heal only get picked back up next turn. None of these units are in danger of dying from a double hit, I don't think. He's only going to do 9 to Marsha, so that's a pretty good indication. I don't want... Oops. So Marsha can go engage this guy, and the boss cannot get her. So she does 10. She only takes 3. Wow, she's like feeling strong all of a sudden out of nowhere. Uh, travel in, we'll do 9, and I'll take no damage. I'm okay with her taking 3. So, we'll do this, get this guy a little bit lower, should help out, Just finish him off next turn. Oh, nice crit, Marsha. Perfect. Good chunk of XP, too. Alright, we are hyped about that. So, let's move Marsha up. You know what, if I put her, like, here... I'll put it here. I don't want her too far away if I have to retreat from her, but I'm hoping the boss opts to hit her. Because that gives me the freedom to move her away and then choose which units to move in safely, as opposed to the boss kind of being up in my face and not having as many choices, so. So that's going to be it for this turn. Here comes more reinforcements. Yep, boss goes on Marsha. Happy about that. You should only do nine. Okay. Don't want that to happen too many times, but that's absolutely fine for this turn. And, uh-oh, that one's already really quite close. Is that the limit of his range, or is he stymied by these guys being here? Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 is his limit. So 1, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, if I counted right, that's the limit of his attack, which means Soren is safe to move out and hit the boss from any of these tiles. Is that far enough? No. He can hit from here, however. Uh, he only does 11, but I'm going to do it regardless, because I want him to get XP, and it gets the boss low enough to where he dodges, and it's completely irrelevant, anything that I just said. <laughs> Alright. Uh... I'm kind of a little worried about just being that low. I need to kill this boss this turn, and whoever does needs to not get so low that they get killed by this crow next turn. So, who's Jill? Jill does not have a ranged weapon. Um, I'm sure that Ike can move in and get that kill. I just, he's gonna overcap on experience, and it's just super inefficient to do that, so I'm trying to avoid that. So let's see if there's another way to do it. Oscar, maybe, with this killer lance and a crit. Damn, he's gonna take 11. I do not think he would take 16 from that other crow on the bottom, but I'm just a little hesitant to risk it. So let's see if I can just use ranged attacks to. Oh, I don't, have, I forgot to buy an axe on him. That's a shame. Um, let's see what I can do. 8 gets me 19, which would be not quite enough, unless I crit, which is quite likely. Uh, that's, all these ranged weapons are just so likely to miss. Chill. Alright, so we can do, let me think this out. How much would Marsha take from this guy? She only take two. So that's fine. I'm not really worried about that one then. So if we do like Marsha here, Javelin, and then Oscar there, Javelin, and then Jill comes in and gets the kill potentially. And if not, I have Iker Boyd, which definitely could. As long as he dies, Soren is safe. And then we will consider who we're going to heal and if we need to pick them up. So, Javelin, don't miss. Nice. Next up, Oscar. Oh yeah, I can run her. What's her health at? Is it gonna tell me? No, it's not gonna tell me. Uh, I can run her up for a heal if needed. I also kinda wanna use her as bait if she's only, really only gonna take two. So I'll leave her there. Let's do Oscar, 
down here. Let's do Joblin, and please don't miss. Yeah, I knew one of them was going to miss eventually. Alright, you can stay there. Now, Jill does. Oh, God. I think that gets halved. I think that damage is before the Laguz guard comes in, but I would still take 10, which is a lot. Um, on the, and only a 55% chance to hit, which is real sketchy, so... Can, I, I can get down there if needed. Alright. Void. 11 out of 85. So can I get this guy low enough for Boyd to get the kill? The Goose Slayer would certainly work, but again, I don't want Ike to kill this guy because I don't want him to get the XP. So we'll do the Iron Sword. I'll take 11, that's kind of a lot too, but... Uh, so this is almost guaranteed 1 HP on the boss. So we just need either Boyd or Jill to then come down and finish him off. Boom, dodge, nice, and one more hit here. Alright. So, we would like for this XP to go on Jill instead of Boyd. It's only a 55% chance, so, and I take a lot of damage on the attack back, which is risky. And then. Assuming I miss, I have an 85% chance to finish him off with Boyd, so that's what we'll try. Ugh, or I can use Titania, but this is the only way. Titania has a hand axe, so I get another shot. You know what, just go for it. It's probably a safer, more guaranteed way, but... We're just gonna do this. Alright, see, it all works out. Happens all the time. I like, plan for all these scenarios and then, you know, I just. The easy way ends up working. So. Alright, it's a full level of XP for Jill. That's a uh, boss experience, so. Full level. Level 9. Moving on up. Blue gem, which I believe you can just sell for quite a, bu uh, quite a lot of gold, quite a bunch of gold. Um, Alright. I'd rather that guy attacks Marsha or Jill for the experience, so we move Boyd there. Was there not another reinforcement that came in? No. So, we can do our heals up here. Get some XP for our healers. Seems like they were hardly worth taking. I mean, you know. Units got pretty low at the start, so it was nice to be able to heal them up, but I could have just taken a stronger unit that would have killed the thing so that they didn't even end up needing the heal, and then just use vulneraries, but we do want to level them up, because I have a feeling in later missions they're going to come in handy, so... Reese, go ahead and get your heal for the turn, get your XP. Very good. Um, Alright. So, and, you know what, go ahead and, yeah. go ahead and drop Methany just in case I get an extra turn, that'll give me some extra to heal up here for Mist, and everyone else can, I'll put her here in case I need her to come down for some reason. Alright, so, balls in this guy's court, he opts to go for Jill, with her Laguz guard and 24 health, she should be fine, yes, takes one damage. Attacks back, takes one damage, and that's it. So, the question here is, we are on turn nine. So if I end right now by killing that guy, I get 200 bonus experience. For every turn over I go from now, I lose 20 bonus experience, and... I think at the end of this turn, we get one more crow. At turn 11, we get one more crow. And then at turn 13, we get one more crow. So there's potentially three more crows. They would drop an arm scroll, a secret book, and a coin, I think, if I wanted to wait for them. But I'm not sure which one is which. 
if I knew for sure that the one on turn 11 was a secret book, then I would probably wait for that. Because that's worth more than three, two, two, three turns of experience. But um, I think we'll just end now. So let's get as much XP as we possible. As much XP as we can slash as possible out of this uh, before we end. So let's do that. Speaking too fast, I'm combining my potential phrases into new ones. All right, and then just go ahead and heal miss. Doesn't really matter at this point. Just want to get a turn's worth of experience in there. And who's going to get the XP here? Jill, 13. That would be a kill if it hit. Marsha, I'm assuming not. Yeah, only 11. So we'll hit first with Marsha so she gets a little bit of something. Very good. And we will have Jill go ahead and get the kill here for her experience. And if she misses... We'll figure something else out. Looks like it to me. Perfect. Nice. That level up. Very good. Alright. And that should do it. Yep, that's it. And we got some dialogue, so again, I'll just let it roll. Holy crap. Bunch of dragons. Glad we avoided a fight there. Man, look at them. They look uh, pretty powerful, so... Glad we didn't have to fight them.
All right, seems like a cool dude. Maybe we'll see him again later. Alrighty, so that takes us to the end of the chapter. A um, little messy there, having to do that restart, but at least it was at the beginning and not towards the end. Uh, definitely a little harder than I thought it would be, but it is done, and we got all of our bonus experience, and we got some good item drops, so uh, we're going to save over our old save file here, and we will pick it up next time with chapter 13. So that's going to be all for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.